Look at this. Woohoo. Super Bowl champions. Seattle Seahawks. Well, what can we say? Astrology works? Sure, you could say that. But you could also say that um, since I've been talking about the Saturn connection to the, the Seahawks, um, yesterday's connection was a little different. Um, in order for them to get to where they were needing to go, which they did, obviously they got to the, C the uh, Super Bowl, they were going to have to um, take all the accumulated knowledge and practice and effort and learning from mistakes made and basically rework the whole business of their practice. And this year, I think, was, I don't know if it was this year or not for sure, but certainly the, the implementation of metaphysical um, practices, uh, and meditation, uh, visualization, um, anything like that that was a little bit more, um, I guess you'd say, um, alternative, was incorporated into their training program this year. And that made a huge difference because what we saw was the connection to spiritual practices in this team. And they were truly not just incredibly um, talented, but they're also um, very confident guys. Now, what happened yesterday, I mean, the accumulation of all this stuff, was there was this incredible Uranus thing involved. And um, it would take a little bit to explain it, but what happened basically was that the team got to break out of, or had graduated, to the next level of their playing abilities. And yesterday, it was amazing. For those of you who were trying to predict this, it was, it was difficult. I couldn't get a whole fix on it. People saying, do you think you're going to win? I said, you know, I just it feels like it's going to happen, but... I don't know, it depends on how well matched off they are when they, they met. And of course, the Denver and Seattle met earlier in the season during the preseason, and that did not go well for Denver. So it could have been returned to the scene of crime, we don't know. But because of the influence of Uranus in this particular event, it, it told me that there was going to be something unexpected, that something out of the blue might happen, that could change the course of the entire... There's my glasses again. I tell you, someone needs to tell me when I'm doing that. Anyway, so what happened? The first 12 seconds of the game, old Peyton Manning boo-booed, and we ended up having a safety two points within 12 seconds. Now, that's an interesting number, 12 seconds. And in the second half, when Percy Harvin took his... His long run down the field, returning a kickoff to them, and he returned it for a touchdown. That was 12 seconds into the quarter. We have the 12th man. We have Jupiter and Pluto at 12 degrees, Capricorn and Cancer. And the 12th man being, of course, a fan base here in Seattle. So it's very interesting. There's some sort of cosmic thing happening here that, you know, numerologically, but also astrologically, that showed that a breakthrough to a new level of competency and a new level of, of ability to break out of the old stifling patterns and start a whole new era for themselves, which they did last night. Amazing. So anyway, back to, that's kind of what I have a little bit of a summary of, but um, I kind of went all over the place. I've been having a cold and yesterday I was practically with my voice screaming and yelling. Anyway, so go Seahawks next year. We did it this year. We did it soundly. And that's the tell from... That's, shut up, Eileen. It's time to go. That's my bell. Just kidding. Anyway, we'll see you next time. And um, 